one. What's in the box, Ty? <laughs> now, Rupert's been excited since I got hold of this box today. He's very excited because we played ball with some friends earlier and it's just got him so hyper. So, what's in our box today? Let's shake it. Oh, sounds a bit clunky, doesn't it? Shall we open it and have a look? Oh, hmm, let me see. Oh, wow, that's nice, isn't it? That's a card. Do you know what this is? This is a card from some very special friends of mine when we moved house six months ago. And in their card, they're saying, relax in your new home. But we're saying goodbye for now because we're not going to see each other as much as we did. So it's goodbye, which sounds a bit sad, doesn't it? But you know what? It's not forever goodbye because in fact, on Saturday when I go to get my hair cut, I'm going to see my friends who sent me this card. So I'm really excited. And today's story is called Goodbye to Goodbyes. So it's all about Jesus. And there's a little bit of sad bits in the story, but then it talks about how Jesus is going to get rid of goodbyes forever. So why don't you have a look at the story? And remember, don't get too sad because it turns out fine in the end. All right, hope you enjoy it. Goodbye to Goodbyes by Lauren Chandler. In the little town of Bethany there lived a man named Lazarus. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. Martha loved to throw a party. Mary loved to sit and listen. Lazarus loved his two sisters and they were all friends with a man named Jesus. But one day Lazarus got sick. He went to bed sick and he woke up sick. Mary and Martha looked after him, but Lazarus got worse and worse. I know, said Martha, I will tell our friend Jesus, he can help. Martha thought about all that Jesus had done. He made the blind people see. He made the deaf people hear. He made people who had been sick, walk, jump, run and leap for joy. He could make Lazarus well. So she and Mary sent a message to Jesus. Lord Jesus, our brother Lazarus, the friend that you love, is sick. Come quickly. It took two days for Martha's message to reach Jesus. And when Jesus heard his friend was very, very sick, he did nothing. Did nothing? That's right. He didn't ride the first donkey to Bethany. He didn't run until his sides hurt. For two whole days, he stayed right where he was. Why? Jesus told his disciples, our friend Lazarus is very sick, but this illness won't end up with Lazarus being dead. We won't have to say goodbye forever. I have a plan for you. Jesus had a plan, but what was it? Then at last, Jesus and his disciples headed to Bethany. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, Jesus announced, but I'm on my way to wake him up. The disciples looked at each other. Did they hear him right? Lazarus was sleeping. Couldn't Mary and Martha wake him up? Jesus knew their questions. He looked at them and said, Lazarus has died. Died? How could this be? Didn't Jesus say that Lazarus would not die? Didn't he say they wouldn't have to say goodbye forever? What happened to his plan? Every step to Bethany felt heavier and heavier. Their hearts sank deeper and deeper. They were sad their friend had died. They didn't even get to say goodbye. Four days after Lazarus had died, Jesus and his disciples finally arrived. Martha came running to meet them. Her face was sad. Her eyes were red. Lord, if only you'd been here, Lazarus would not have died. But I know nothing's impossible with you, even after someone's died and we've said our forever goodbyes. You're right, Martha, Jesus said. There is a day coming when we will say goodbye to saying goodbyes forever. Do you believe that? Martha nodded, yes, I believe in you, Jesus. I know you are the son of God and I know you always do what you promise. You will end all our goodbyes forever. Martha went and fetched Mary. 
Mary was so sad. The brother she loved was gone. She would never hug him again. She would never eat with him again. She would never see his face again. Jesus saw her tears and then it happened. His heart broke. He knew what he was about to do. He knew Lazarus's goodbye wasn't forever. But his heart broke for his friends. When they reached Lazarus's tomb, Jesus cried too. They cried and cried and cried because they'd had to say a forever goodbye. But then Jesus stopped crying and said, Take away the stone. Martha told him there might be a horrible smell. But Jesus said, You need to believe me. So they took away the stone. Then he yelled like a mighty lion's roar, Lazarus, come out. And he did. Jesus kept his word. Lazarus being sick didn't end with him being dead. It ended with him alive even after he died, after they'd had to say goodbye. Mary, Martha, Lazarus and Jesus were together again. Martha threw a party. Mary laughed and listened. Lazarus was glad to be alive. But then the time came for Jesus to say goodbye. He hugged his friends that he loved and said goodbye for now, but not forever. Jesus had to go to Jerusalem where he would be the one to say goodbye and die. And then, like Lazarus, walk out of a tomb alive. And after that, Jesus said goodbye again because he was going back to heaven. It was sad for Jesus' friends to say goodbye, but they would see him again in the land that lay after their dying, in the land where there are no more goodbyes, not ever. We all have to say goodbye sometimes. Some of them are short goodbyes. Some are long. Sometimes a friend of Jesus who we love gets sick and we're sad. Sometimes because they die, we have to say goodbye. It feels like a forever goodbye. Jesus knows it's sad to say goodbye. So Jesus came to end goodbyes. And one day, Jesus and all his friends will say goodbye to goodbyes forever. Thank you.